Hello guys, welcome to PC Drills, where you find help on how to handle your PC related issues. Today we continue with the chapter of computer hardware components. Today we are talking about lesson 2. Lesson 2 here we are going to talk about input computer components. So we are focusing mostly on the input. The other ones like this, storage, output, processing. That's not what we are looking on today. Today we are just focusing on input computer components. So stay tuned and follow up. If you have any issues at the end of the lesson, please just leave them at the comment section or you can contact us through any of the means you can. For the objectives of this particular lesson which is input computer components we have a definition and we have classification and we have manual input devices and automatic input devices about the definition we say input devices are components that provide a means for the computer user to enter data and instructions into the computer so there are components last lesson we say components also mean devices they also mean peripherals so when we say these are components that provide a means for the computer user to enter data or instructions into the computer so something like a keyboard that you use to type we are inputting letters into a computer. You can call a keyboard an input device. If you have a microphone that you're using to record, like I'm doing now, to record something and store in your computer, it is also called an input device. You can consider the case of your phone. A phone is also an input device. So when you record a WhatsApp message, that's also an input operation that you are carrying out as an input instruction for classification of input devices we can have manual and we can have automatic when we say manual it means the user has to input the stuff by actually having physical contact with the input device for example typing a word document you call that one a manual input you have to press on each key on the keyboard by yourself for you to be able to type the word document but when we talk about automatic automatic is a way that mostly the computer is able to do the work on its own without human intervention so when it comes to Input devices, we can have manual and we can have automatic. Manual means the user has to type everything manually before he can input any data. But automatic is just the opposite. A human intervention is not needed. So when we talk about manual input, you can say here yeah, that manual input devices require the computer user to physically operate and manipulate them in order to input the data into the computer. For example, you are typing a Word document. You have to be pressing each letter with your finger manually for the computer to translate that particular letter and use it probably to display it on the screen and so on. That one is manual input devices which require your help or human operation or human intervention for the automatic input devices these are those components that do not require the computer user to manually operate the machine in order to input data into the computer system for the manual we need the computer user to be manually pressing things to help it work but with the automatic 
that's not the case it does not need a computer user to manually operate the machine thanks for following up with this particular lesson on the next lesson we will talk more detailly about the manual input devices the next lesson is going to be about manual input devices only we will go deeper into manual input devices and see even examples after manual input devices the other lesson will be automatic input devices thanks for following up with lesson 2 which lesson 2 was input computer components and if you have any issues you know how to get to us please follow the lessons in order so you need to follow from lesson 1 to lesson 2 lesson 3 4 and so on I've tried to make the lessons as short and straight to the point so that you don't have to feel bored while watching a very long video and if you have any particular portion of the video that you haven't understood just leave a comment I will explain it to you through a message or we can do another more detailed video and longer one for you to understand bye for now and see you on the next lesson